hey, societally speaking, you know, because that whole thing is about truth. There's not, not much truth in society. It exists, but, you, you know, you have to work with it because each person sees it differently. The same truth, but people see it differently. You know, people have different ideas, different eyes, different noses, different, you know. Some people can't smell uh, garlic. I don't know. But I'm, I do know this is that all this uh, this societal stuff is bizarro. Bizarro is, you should look the word up, bizarro. I ran into it with the Superman thing. Uh, they had the bizarro world, and everything was backwards. That's what America, uh, excuse me, the United States is. Not America. America is a natural thing. America is a continent. You know, I mean, it's a place with trees and earth and all that kind of stuff. Not, But the United States, that's a government, and all governments are in the minds of people. You know what I mean? They they carry out that stuff from their minds, not from nature. So the, the America itself, as you want to refer to a place, okay, that's cool. I'm not saying that's the correct word or name and all that kind of thing. I ain't into that. I'm just trying to break it down so we can see what's natural and what's societal. Because that's the, you know, the major two things that are facing us right now. What's natural and what's societal. And the society is bizarro. Everything is backwards. You see the position of our people, that's bizarro. You see how our people behave, that's bizarro. You see how everybody else and everything else, that all that's bizarro. They say, Watch, I'm going to tell you bizarro. You, they tell you slavery is over, yet it's in their constitution. They tell you slavery is over, yet it's written and supported by the United States Constitution. That's what I mean about bizarro, and the United States is different than America. The United States is the pre predominant thought. That's all it is, a thought. And everybody carry it like it's a world in their head. They all whirling it around in their head. That's why they send everybody to school so they can get that same world in their head. It's just like, you know, just the same amount of it's a world in your head. Don't exist nowhere. It's not real. Because if you go to a tree, the tree not going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm in the United States. A bird, no, they ain't in that stuff. We are in that world because we have the ability to world. You can make your world whatever you want. Some people's world are their children. See what I mean? Yeah, it's your world. You can do what you want with it. Make it how you want it tomorrow, today, right now. Change it. Don't be bizarro. Be real. Put air above money. <laughs> And stuff like that. You know. Put love above all this other stuff. Behave with with the with the compassion of, of your heart. That's enough right there. Your mind is tricky. You ever heard of mind control? You ever heard of mind games? All them things? The mind's tricky, man. Don't trust that sucker so much. Not so much. Use it for what is good for, like a computer or something. You know, Google. It's good for some things, but yeah, don't trust it for so much. Check it, but no, you know, don't depend on it. Make sure it's correct, all that kind of stuff. The mind is a more like a a, a computer than anything. It it's garbage in, garbage out. That's the nature of computer. It don't matter how far you go, how much advanced they make technology and all that. <clears throat> this principle will always hold garbage in, garbage out. That's how a computer is set up. That's how your mind is set up. 
You keep putting garbage in it, garbage going to come out of it. It's a done deal. That's bizarro. That's why they keep telling you things that are not real and have you think they are real. So the world around in your head when they tell you some more stuff that's not real, but all that other stuff, it, it makes sense. You'd really be like, okay. And it's difficult. It's almost impossible to remain. And you guys don't even know what I'm referring to. They got rid of all the insane uh, asylums. But it's impossible to remain sane in an insane asylum. You can't remain sane around a bunch of crazy people. Their actions are going to cause you to respond to their actions and their insanity. And as a result, you will start behaving insanely. Even though you think you're sane. And after a while, you would be like checking yourself because that's what you're going to do. Check yourself and be like, damn, that's shit crazy. And you'd be like, oh, damn, I'm crazy with these crazy people. That's why the vacation is all about. People be like, get away from this insanity, man, for a while. Now come back. I mean, because, you know, they think they have to. But that's what a vacation means. Get out of the insanity. So the, the, the America, if you can... I don't know where you can go. Go go to the Swiss Alps. Go somewhere in nature. Don't go to no place and see what they're doing. But people, people not that damn important. They all in the world, too. They got, wherever you go at this time, I found the po populations are being whirled by their so-called governments. The governments are in control. The people don't control their governments. The governments control them with the army and the military and all them arms and stuff. And, and a lot of them governments have been put in, in control by Bizarro. Bizarro walks around and, 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 and offers them all kind of money and things. And they take it. And they put their people under, under the... Uh, uh, subjugation, subjugation of Bizarro. They feel scared of Bizarro anyway themselves. So look up Bizarro, man. Check it out. Watch movies with the name in it. Uh, get a feel for what I'm saying about Bizarro. Because it is this. It's happening. But you don't know it. How are you going to look up a word if you don't know the word? How are you going to look up a concept if you never heard of it? How are you going to discover something that's already in front of you if you don't know what you're looking at? God told me he was just in the yard and saw seven different herbs that he recognized. The people who live in that yard say, oh, man, them ain't nothing but weeds. See what I mean? It depends on what you know, baby. No more. Do more. Speak truth all the time. Ain't nothing else happening. This is true. Bizarro has to use a certain amount of truth, the reflective truth. Okay, Bizarro is a reflective of truth. So it has to use truth, but it reflects it and refracts it and stuff like that. But the truth is, whatever is, Bizarro is true too. It's part of truth. Because it must be. Ain't nothing else out here. It's just how they juggle it to make you think something else is happening. Hmm? All right. Bizarro is the answer. Look it up. B-I-Z-A-R-R-O B I Z Z B I Z A R R O Bizarro B I Z A R R O Check it out. One love.